Hello, my name is Carissa Stevens. I'm founder and owner of Pure Noir Urban Wineries based in downtown Houston. We are a winery producing premium award-winning wines. I'm also a global certified sommelier. I've always enjoyed wine and in 2016 my husband Kenneth and I took a trip to Italy where we tasted our way through Rome, Florence, Venice, Milan and we stayed in a small much lesser known town called Todi but it was in Todi that our experience around wine was just so incredible. The spark was ignited and we knew that we both mutually fell in love with wine. Uh, when we returned home to the States we both working in our professional careers at that time just made wine a hobby we literally just geeked out on wine even in our spare time uh, just watching wine documentaries <laughs> reading and researching about wine um, and it wasn't actually until 2018 we learned the shocking statistic that less than one percent of global winemakers are african-american and as a near and present consumer, as someone who loves wine, I spend my coins on wine. That felt like a problem. It felt like a call to action. So we set out to be a part of the representation that we needed to see in the wine industry. And we made history in the city of Houston as the city of Houston's first black owned winery when we opened our first tasting room in November of 2021. In 2020, you know, we had bottled our wines and we planned this huge party. We called it a wine release soiree. We sold 150 tickets. The event was sold out. We had a full band, a full wait staff, even a chef on site <laughs> preparing curated food pairings with each of the three wines in the Pure Collection, also featured here behind me. And long story short, the state of Texas shut down not more than four or five days before we could have this event. We had to refund all those tickets. I remember just sitting on the couch, devastated, in tears, not knowing if this vision that I'd had would even matter. Um, but fortunately, and by the grace of God, we were able to sell out of our first vintages and Pure Epiphany, our red blend, in less than five months. We did receive the Innovator of the Year Award from the Hughes Society in Atlanta, Georgia at their Roses and Rosé Awards. And that was a really big deal because it was a room full of industry people, uh, black and brown, many black and brown people in the industry. And although there's not many of us, I feel like all of us throughout the country were in that one space. And so to be recognized by our industry peers um, for an emerging company that had a lot to say and, and a lot to say in a very innovative way I think was such a highlight for us as well as the awards that we received from the wines themselves. Uh, our wines are considered the premium category of wines and our portfolio has received dozens of gold medals, double gold medals from international wine competitions including um, our most recent two-time double gold reserve Merlot from Rodeo and Cork International Wine Competition. It is also a 93 point rated wine. So just the wines themselves, the quality of the wines and how the wines are perceived, not just here in Houston, not just in Texas, but nationally um, has been a huge accomplishment. How I have learned and still am learning to find success in work-life balance as a mother, as a wife, as a sommelier and wine educator, as a business owner, is on any given day, <laughs> I have to really prioritize well, but sometimes things come up that call my attention that are more pressing. And then, so you have to get really good at reprioritizing regularly. And that looks different each day. Um, whoever and whatever needs me most in that moment uh, generally has my attention. And then at a certain point, I have to be very intentional about cutting work off so that my most important job as a mom and as a wife, as, as you know, someone growing my family is always my first priority. Working and building relationships is the key to success, period, uh, from my perspective in life. And as a business owner, especially as, as someone emerging in this industry, um, the relationships with my customers are incredibly important. And that is an energy that trickles down from the top of my organization, i.e. me and my husband, all the way down to our wine associates who are on the floor every single day, greeting our guests, serving our guests, um, but also our other business relationships. We are 
a direct to consumer winery and we do have wholesale clients. We have other businesses that we sell our product to. So maintaining those relationships is very key to long-term mutually beneficial and flourishing relationships. And it all plays a role. It's all incredibly important in business and in life. Very excited because we'll be opening our second location in the city of Dallas this summer. So if you live in Dallas or if you ever travel to Dallas, be sure you follow along, join our mailing list so that you can get those updates about our grand opening in Dallas. Um, and not just Dallas, from there, uh, we do have the vision of having multiple tasting rooms in multiple major markets. When you look at our logo very closely, you'll notice in fine print beneath the black diamond, it says urban wineries, and that is with great intention, that is plural. When we very first uh, formulated this company, we always had a vision of multiple tasting rooms. So that is what's next for Pinot Noir. And personally, just really learning just how to offload, really learning how to build an amazing team and how to put people in place who are going to help move the business forward and learning how to let go. I'm not saying I'm a control freak, but I am a Virgo and sometimes I'm a little type A. So just, you know, having a, a well built out team around me is literally mission critical because there's only one me. And so having the ability to scale this business with an amazing team is uh, what's next for Pure Noir and for me personally as a business owner. Pure Noir, on the outside looking in, we almost look like a wine bar and we are just as much what we are not <laughs> as what we are. And what I mean by that is, no, we're not a wine bar. No, you can't just come and sit um, have a glass of wine um, and that's all you've had for three hours and order lamb chops and smoke hookah. But what you can do is you can come in, you can enjoy a guided interactive wine tasting experience that is brand centric. All the bottles that you see here are produced by us. Yes, we are the producers. Our grapes are sourced from the Napa Valley, Clarksburg and Lodi, California. And when you come here, you're gonna learn all about winemaking. You're gonna learn about where our grapes are grown. You're gonna learn the best practices and tasting wine and so much more. So I do encourage you as an entrepreneur to just know who you are and stand in that because sometimes you're not everybody's cup of tea if you're champagne. So.